Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17 allows you to create fixed columns based on the number of columns that you have created in your project using Layout Grid. So in this video, you're going to take a look at how to create fixed columns using Layout Grid in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. So this is an example on my screen. To get started, let me just go ahead to launch my WYSIWYG Web Builder and then get Layout Grid on my canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically create something similar to what is on the screen. So I'm going to have three columns and then I'll move this to, this could even be here and this could be here as well. Um, under normal circumstance, if I leave this, you know, it says that they have even or equal sizes. Um, let me just add some padding to the top as well as to the bottom. And then let me add some text. So let me put my text in the middle here. And let me change this to 20 bold center. Good. So this is my text. If I preview this, this is what is going to happen. Now you wouldn't really notice a change. Let me add different colors to the various part of the grid. So coming to um, the properties, you double click on this and go to style and I change this to solid. Um, that is, um, I want this to be solid and then I select a color. I do same for this and then maybe red. So when I click on OK, you notice these are the colors. Now it's not really visible the way I want it to. So let me just take away the padding and then click on OK. And instead, I'm going to use line to create the space so that this becomes very visible. So I'm going to put a line to my grid. This is going to have like white or let me just change the solid to none and I'll copy it or duplicate it and then move it to the top of the text so it creates the same space and so I'm just trying to get um, this um, colors to be visible so when I preview this in the browser okay it's not showing because I don't have any content in there as well so let me just copy this text here and then copy this one also here and then preview this again so you notice i have my text showing but the background color is not showing the way i want it so let me just do same for um, this let me duplicate it again put it here do same for this as well so it is easier to have the color showing properly the way I want it to. So this is what basically I was trying to achieve. Now I have this done. Let's go to a section where we are looking at how to get the columns to be fixed. So you notice that this have the same sizes. So it's the same throughout. If I come back here and I double click on my grid, you notice that when you select each of the columns, there is an option that says fixed width over here so if i select this there's fixed width now if i want to change this from its fluid property or fluid width um, to a fixed width i just input a number from here that is between i think um zero to um, one to hundred so i'm going to input 25. now this is some pixels i think you can even go more if it's in pixels if it's a percentage that is where it is one to hundred but for pixels you can go more and I'll leave it so you even notice that as I put that there, this becomes smaller. So I can change this to 250. And then when I preview this, you notice that it switched um, to 250 over here. So this basically will allow you to create custom layout even if you are using um, the layout grid. So you don't necessarily need to do everything a fluid way. So the same way I did for that, I can equally do this 250 pixels 
and then when I click on OK, you notice we have something um, close to what we had here. So this is 250 pixels, 250 pixels. And that is basically how to go about using the fixed column option um, using layout grid and Visual Web Builder version 17. So this is basically to give you an idea about the endless um, designs that you can have when you are using Visual Web Builder, especially version 17. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.